Hey friends, it's Hope. I am super excited today because I am here to do a book haul and I guess I'm just going to do my October, October book haul right now. But guys, I just got back from one of my favorite events um, in my town like of the year and that is the library book sale. Now most of the books in this library book sale, which they I think last year had like 10,000 plus books and this year I mean they had a ton so I wouldn't doubt that they didn't have at least that many um, but they are a dollar so yeah I went a little bit crazy I probably could have bought more than what I actually did get but I forgot that they only take like cash and checks and I don't own a checkbook and I didn't have a lot of cash so I was limited to just a, a some you know a couple books but definitely I bought a lot more than what I was expecting so anyways, I'm going to show you guys those books and then also the books that I've uh, that I've purchased this month and last month in September. I didn't do a September book haul because I only purchased one book. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start this off with just the books that I purchased this month, not at the book fair that I just got back from. And all of them but one are actually from Goodwill. It's like my go-to place. I love going there for books. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start it off with the first one. It is Duff, the Designated Ugly Fat Friend, and it is by Cody Keplinger. And I saw this on a couple people's book hauls in the past, and I heard it's actually being made into a movie. So I definitely wanted to check this out. Um, the title of it wasn't a book that I probably would have spent a whole bunch of money to read. So when I saw it at Goodwill for 70 cents, I was said, why not? I do love the color scheme, the yellow and the pink um, but from reading the back it follows uh, Bianca Piper and I think that they're in high school and her friends don't really seem too genuine and I think she kind of has a rough home life and uh, just a lot of teenage troubles and she ends up befriending a very unlikely friend someone who she has despised for a very long time so i'm interested to see where this book takes me another book that i've uh bought this month for myself is the vampire academy by Mer by Rochelle Mead and recently guys have probably seen this book in my Friday reads. I have been so bad and I still haven't even read that much. I'm still I think I'm on chapter six now like I'm still at the very beginning. Um, it's not that it isn't a bad book. I just have been occupied reading other books so I am still gonna try to finish this sometime this week. All right, another book that I found at Goodwill that I spilled water all over which drives me nuts because now all the pages are kind of ruined but it is Dark Places by Jillian Flynn and I read Gone Girl and Sharp Objects within the last year which Sharp Objects was my favorite out of the two and it was because I felt like I could empathize with the character whereas in Gone Girl everyone is just crazy twisted and just totally screwed up where I just I had no empathy for anyone so loved both books but definitely Sharp Objects a lot more but because I've read those two books I really wanted to check out her um, other novel which is Dark Places and I'm on page 80 right now and if you guys don't know what this book is about um, it follows our main character and her name is Libby Day and her family was murdered when she was seven years old um, from the beginning of the book that we find out that she testified against her brother Ben saying that he was the one that did it and now she's trying to kind of she's trying to put the pieces back together and figure out okay was it really Ben who murdered my family or, you know, is something else going on that I just can't remember? So, so far it's been pretty good. It is a little haunting uh, like her other books, um, but so far nothing too crazy. But like I said, I'm only on page 80, so I have some time for things to go down. <laughs> All right, so the last book for this uh, portion of the video, I like to also buy from my local used bookstore, Hooked on Books, and they called and told me that they had a book that I wanted to purchase, and it is Legend by Marie Lu. This is my all-time favorite trilogy. Like, I just... I don't know if any other trilogy could ever come close to be my favorite, um, but why I did buy this is because I think either I have this one or Prodigy 
on my Kindle. Like I don't have a physical copy and I desperately want to reread this and I would love to let people borrow it too to, to read as well. So I had store credit and they told me that it was there for me to pick up so I got it <laughs> and I'm super excited. If you guys haven't read Legend, I definitely recommend it. I also just remembered that one of, I don't know if it was Book Perk or Book Show or one of like the little email things that I get that tells you about um, some awesome ebook deals. I did see that Jennifer L. Armentrout's book Obsidian was free on there and I think I got it off of Amazon. They had like a 24 hour, 48 hour thing that it was free so I did pick that up and I have that on my Kindle so I'm hoping to read that one soon. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at the books that I just got at the library book sale. And I'm super excited to show you guys these. And y'all may not think that <laughs> these books are exciting, but I'm excited. So to start us off, I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I have been wanting to read this book for quite a long time now. I've been seeing it all over booktube, especially since The Infinite Sea just recently came out. I know that a lot of people have said that The Fifth Wave was so much better than The Infinite Sea, but I definitely wanted to check this out. And for a dollar, how could I say no? Um, I know that this is also a book to movie adaptation. I think maybe coming out next year, maybe in 2016, I don't know. But of course, I want to read the book first before actually seeing the movie. So I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to dive right on, right on into the story. All right, so the second book that I bought, I actually had never heard of until I started watching like YouTube reviews and stuff. And I've heard both Megan from Megan Olivier and Ben from Benjamin of Tomes um, talk about this book and say how great it was and I was so happy because for some reason in my head like I didn't do too much research but for some reason I thought that this book was only sold in the UK so when I saw it sitting on the table I freaked out I probably did like an audible gasp and did like a little dance and people were probably just like what is going on but without further ado sorry to keep you waiting it is Knots and Crosses and it is by Mallory Blackman. Now I may totally be wrong and maybe this book has always been sold in the US but like I said my little brain just thought this was only in the UK so I'm super excited to be holding this book. I really don't even know what it's about. I've just heard like I said Megan and Ben um, rave about how wonderful of a read this is and I think it is a dystopian book. Um, on the cover it does say it's a thriller so I love those types of books so I'm excited for this one. Alright so currently I am listening to The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater and I'm a little over halfway through with my audiobook and so when I was looking at the young adult section at the library book sale I found the second book and I think it's a trilogy I don't I think it's a trilogy um, but it is The Dream Thieves and I'm trying to think who's on the cover. For some reason, I picture this as Ronan's character, but I just picture Ronan in my head with like not having any hair. This totally may be Gansey or Adam or I don't know, maybe some person I haven't met yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited because now I can I can continue on um, with this trilogy and I won't have to wait a while to get the second book. All right, so this next book that I have was actually recommended to me on Goodreads by the books that I've read in the past and it is Birthmarked by Kara M. O'Brien and if this is Kara they spelled it really uniquely and I thought that was interesting it's K-A-R-A-G-H I may be totally butchering it it may not even be pronounced Kara but that's pretty cool um anyways I believe this book is about um uh, well, I know it's in the future and it, we're, it's following our main character and she lives outside of the walls. I think for the people who live inside of the walls, they are part of the enclave. And she has to try to decide what's going to be best for her when the people that she kind of knew and trusted um, took her parents away from her. So now she has to try to figure out, is she going to stay outside the walls or go inside the walls? I don't know, probably horrible synopsis I just gave, but I just briefly read the back and that's what I kind of got out of it. I also found this book on Book Outlet and 
I was a fool and waited a couple days um, to actually buy the books that were in my cart. And when I went back to buy all the books that were in my cart, this one was already sold out. So I was super bummed, um, but I guess now not anymore because I got this for super cheap. I got this for a dollar because all these books are for a dollar at the book sale. Um, and I think I would have paid like $2.99 or $3.99 on Book Outlet. So I was super excited to find this one. The last and final book that I have to show you is a book that I've actually never heard of before. And going into the book fair, I told myself I was only going to buy books that are on like my TBR list in my head and on Goodreads because I didn't want to go absolutely crazy and just pick up everything that I thought sounded good. So I was doing great and I had that game plan until I saw this book and it is The Disreputable History of Frankie Landu Banks and it is by E. Lockhart. Now the only reason why I totally broke all my rules and strayed away from my game plan was because it is by E. Lockhart. Now I'm sure you guys are, maybe, are familiar with um, We Were Liars, a, the most recent book that she just wrote, um, but if not, y'all need to get it and read it definitely check it out. It's amazing. It was one of those books that I read and then I closed it, thought about what in the world did I just read and immediately went back and reread it. I have never done that with a book. So anyways, I loved her writing style and I wanted to read more of her books. I actually didn't even know that she had any more books. For some reason I thought We Were Liars was like her first novel, but then I saw this and I was intrigued. So anyways, um, it is about Frankie Landu Banks and or Landa Banks, something like that. And anyways, um, the back little synopsis says that she is confessing to a crime and she's saying that she was the mastermind behind all of it and don't believe what another guy has told them. So I'm very interested to see what this is all about because who confesses to a crime? I mean, there must be, obviously, there's more to the story, so I want to find out, and I will let you guys know how I feel about what all went down in this novel. All right, guys, those were the 10 books that I have purchased for myself in the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. Let me know below if you guys have read any of these books and what you guys would recommend me to start with. I feel like I have some favorites like I know I need to finish Vampire Academy and Dark Places but I also like desperately want to pick up Knots and Crosses because like I said I've heard people like swoon over this book and I'm really wanting to also read The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey but if you guys think that any of these other books should come before them let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much again for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys soon. Bye.